So this solar panel is $300 and it produces the same amount of power as my $65 HQST solar panel. And today we're gonna review it. I begged and plead Jackery and they finally sent it out. And even though it's overpriced, it's really well made. I like Jackery's stuff. So this solar panel is 50 watts of monocrystalline panels and you have these little handles and you can fold it together and the magnets hold it tight. And also it's a flexible panel, but you can't bend it. And I don't really like most flexible panels because they can bend too much and it's too easy to damage them. But this one I think will last a long time. And on the front of the Jackery panel, we have a USB slot, a USB-C, and a small LED light that illuminates when the solar panel is exposed to sunshine. And then on this side, we have an Anderson power pole connector. And this is where you connect the Jackery to this panel. And overall, it's high quality and it's very thick where the handles are, but it's very thin where the panel is, but it's completely rigid throughout. Also, there's small little holes, so if you want to mount this on the side of an RV or van, you could do so. And it really feels nice. It has a sexy finish to it, man. Actually, if they made panels out of this material, like 100 watt panels, but for cheaper, I'd probably buy one because look how good that looks. It's like black cells on black finish. You can't see any bus bars. It looks really clean and nice. And on the back, it says 50 watt solar charger and it tells you the voltage, the current, open circuit voltage, all these things that most people don't really need to know. Most people can just go to this side, plug in their phone right here, plug in their Jackery with this cable and you are set. And the Jackery solar panel comes with a case and inside the case you have a pocket for this cord. So you have an Anderson power pole to a Jackery connector. And of course we have a Jackery, so let's hook it up. What do you know, it's producing 28 watts. Isn't that cool? Let's see if I shade one of the cells how much power it produces. 15 watts. So there must be some bypass diodes or these are in parallel. So that's actually kind of cool. Let's talk about what I dislike. First, all of these plug ports in this, all of this is not waterproof. Also, this plastic doesn't seem UV resistant at all. This Anderson power pole connector, this is not waterproof at all. I mean, you can even see inside of the box where the connector connects. So nothing on this is waterproof. So if you're a beginner and you just need to throw this out in the sun a couple hours out of the day, it makes sense. But for anybody else, it probably doesn't make sense for you. But the size and the weight over the glass panel is incredible. I mean, this one is a lot lighter. This thing is so compact when it folds up, it's really small. I'm gonna test the output of these two solar panels in similar situations. So they're at the exact same angle to the sun. They've also sat in the heat for a while. So the efficiency probably has dropped. And now we can connect them to the Jackery and see if there's a difference in output. So right now it's connected to the Jackery 50 watt and it's producing 32 watts of power. Now we're gonna plug in the other solar panel. And now the HQST is producing 31 watts. Another thing to note is whether I use this panel or the Jackery panel, it produces 29 to 32 watts. But if I were to use this with an MPPT charging a lithium battery, I get 42.5 watts. So that tells me that this is not a very efficient charger inside. I'm guessing that they use a pulse width modulation controller to charge the Jackery, which is really unfortunate, but it has a really good rated output. I did test this in a previous video and the output was as advertised. Is it worth 200 to $300? Probably not. But I know some of you guys out there do not want to wire up their, their own glass solar panel to the Jackery. So this is really good for super beginner type people. But if you do get a glass solar panel and you crimp just two wires, you can throw this out in the sun 365 days out of the year with rain, hail, snow, everything. So I would consider getting this if you can. So it's a decent panel and I would recommend it to people who have a lot of money and are complete beginners. But for most people, I wouldn't get it. But yeah, I'm pretty glad that they sent this out to me because it looks so cool i just like to have it because it looks cool and it's light and it's neat i mean it's a sexy solar panel it's and i like the orange with the black it looks good so yeah let me know if you guys like this video there probably will be a link below for amazon for this thing usually it's 200 on amazon and 300 on the jackery website so yeah thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later